Hey everybody, I want to show you a little uh, trick I learned tonight involving uh, Airtable, Excel and uh, using the RESTful uh, API. So I'll jump over to it and then we'll talk as we go. So looking at your Airtable base, um, I've created one here just called Untitled for now. Uh, the whole idea here is uh, to sync data between uh, Excel and Airtable using the API directly without integrations or plugins or whatever you would want using the Power Queries. So this is a subject and there's some data. It doesn't really matter what's here. It could be um, whatever. So what you want to do is you want to go to this uh, support page first. Uh, Airtable provided a template for us. In this template, you will see there is a copy a template here, yada, yada, yada. And then there's a create a query and a create some parameters. We'll go on the parameters first, have a look here, what it says. We need to define an API key, base ID and a table ID. So we'll go into Excel here. Take a new sheet. Um, and then we'll do a blank workbook. Then we want to go as we normally do when we want data in Excel. We want to go to the data tab, get data. In this one, you have multiple sources. For this scenario, you want a blank query. This will open your Power Query, which is also for Power BI, and there's a couple of Microsoft products you can use this with. Once this loads up, oh, here it is. Uh, lost on the other screen. All right, so firstly, we want to do um, some definitions. You manage your parameters. You go in here, you type a name, you add a new one, you type a name. This would be the API underscore key. Be aware how you make this so it fits the web page. I'll give you a link. The type is text uh, and the value is uh, any value. And then you want to add in your API key here. So off the screen, oh, you know what, maybe I'll show you. So you get your API key, you go into your account here. Be aware that this is a, a personal uh, key. So anybody with this key can access your account. So that's why it's blurred out. You can create a view only key if you want to. Uh, by creating a separate account with view only rights to your Airtable account. So now we have the API key. Then we want to further add a parameter called base ID. So the base ID the type is also text. Uh, it can be any value. And then we want to find the value for this. So to find the value of this, you go into the base that you want to look at, you go into help. This is also a, a personal thing, so don't share this key with anybody. Uh, so there it is. So you go into the documentation of the API, then you see this base ID is yada, yada, yada. This is a secret key, don't share it with people. You copy paste it, you add it as the value. Oh, I forgot one. So then you go into the manage parameters again, because we need one third one, add a new one. And this one we call our table ID. So this is identifying the table, underscore ID. Uh, for the sake of it, also keep this private to yourself. It's not as important as the others, but um, so we'll go into the table here. Copy this. And basically what you want from the URL is only the part saying TBL. So I'll just pick that out, copy paste it, and then I'll put it in here. So now we have our parameters solved. So we go into the query here. We open the advanced editor, delete what's already there, away with it. We go to this web page. Uh, this is the tutorial. You can copy this whole query here. I'll put this in the description, of course, uh, and then you add it in.
you press done and then you will see a preview of your air table here loaded in so this might ask for authentication then you just put it as a anonymous and then it's a, it's all good so then you close and load here and now you have a live uh, update of your data in your air table here you can of course do normal data manipulation in the in the query here if you want um like let's say you don't want i don't know air table record id you could remove this column because it's not important in in this scenario you could also move this and then you basically have what you have in in, in air table so it updates here and just to do a quick test we'll go into our air table here and we'll say this is test number four and we'll say uh, yes please and you can set this up how often you want to update it if you wanted to do by intervals or whenever you open the sheet or whatever we'll do it manually and we'll just do a refresh and then you'll see the row is added up here so that is uh, basically how you can um, connect your Airtable base into uh, Excel. Pretty easy, pretty fast, uh, cut and paste. And then you can uh, yeah, manage your data in Excel however you want. Or in my case, I use it to link further in other projects and, and other sheets. So that's why it's critical to get this connection working.